Drizzle Drizzle is not asking for a lot. Drizzle Drizzle is about respect. If he says it's boys night, but then you see all these other girls there, that's so horrible. Fellas, if you're a soft guy, drizzle drizzle, and you're in your soft guy era, know your worth. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here, this is Naturally Gloria. And to my three subscribers, hello, be shout out to everyone of you come back to watch my videos. It's the men are in their soft guy era. So glad, or I'm so happy that the men are finally updating their knowledge. Dinner dates are not for strangers, aka the first or even second dates. Like, no more freebies for the ladies. I love it pay your own way if the ladies are paying then the men are available and if not then drizzle drizzle guys that's what we'll be talking about in today's video so make sure you sit right back and make sure you watch this video to the end also make sure to drop your thoughts in the comment section as your opinion is always highly welcome in the comment section be sure to give this video a thumbs up so guys let's dive straight into this video drizzle drizzle is not asking for a lot Drizzle Drizzle is about respect. It's about giving me something that you can't give anybody else. See, when you spend money on someone, that money is gone. That means that money was for that person alone. For thousands of years, guys have been dying on the line for a woman who only gives back what they've given to 50 other men, and they'll give to 50 other men's sense. Drizzle Drizzle is about giving somebody something truly special. It's about sending the Uber Black instead of the Uber X. It's about buying me a new Kanali white shirt so I look good when we go out because I gotta look good too. It's about giving me that compliment, letting me know that no other guy on this planet can wear a Kanali shirt like I can wear it. Drizzle Drizzle is about knowing that I don't want flowers, so you buy me a first edition foil Charizard instead, or maybe a Beta Iron Lotus from Magic the Gathering instead, or both and make it a bouquet, because I don't like flowers, Drizzle Drizzle. Drizzle Drizzle is about proving your worth. It's about investing in me. It's about showing me that you are a good person and I can trust you. That you didn't fight for equality just to keep all of that money in a bank account. That you want to spend it on me. That you want to go 50-50. That you want to make me feel like a king. That you value the fact that I've got gray in my beard and I've seen the world already and that I can cook. Drizzle Drizzle is about showing me that you're ready to treat me like a king. Stay up. Bro, I just had to break up with my girl. She just proposed to me in the most brokey way possible, bro. I mean, yo, she pops up with a ring that's about like two, three thousand dollars. Yo, it needs to be at least three months of a hundred thousand dollars. At least, yo, that's 25K, baby. I mean, dude, if you, how are you gonna take care of me and my needs? Look, you need to elevate my life. I mean, look, if you're not gonna do it, then somebody else will. Look, I know my worth, and I and it is not three thousand dollars. Oh, but I worked overtime to get it, and this, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you had to do. Twenty five k is not too much. It's twenty twenty four. There's no excuse for you to not be able to afford that. Are you kidding me? What do you think, Kings? Was that too hard? When most women talk about a provider man, it's usually a man that could provide all of the bills. Like a man being a 100% provider in 2024 is a scam. Do you think that's true? No, I am a very traditional type of woman. I do believe that a man should provide. I think that should be like flat out across the board, the norm. If you're going 50 50, then you're trying to be my roommate. And that's not what I'm seeking. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're going to go half on rent, then I might as well have a roommate. So I really you, feel you like. I'd rather pay the bills 100% and then go half with a partner. I want a husband. Have you ever been in a partner business relationship where one partner just went 100% and you yes. went zero? I have. I have That's been possible. in that dynamic. You would be in a business relationship like that? In a I business mean, you can relationship. Get it's a partnership, right? Yeah. We're both, so both business do partners. 100% finances. Somebody can do the legwork. That's I what mean, the partnership is too. This drizzle drizzle movement is hilarious to watch it play out in real time. When you think about it, the reverse psychology that is going on and seeing these females crash out in the comments on these videos when it's meant to be satire. It started off as satire. I think it's completely going into a whole nother movement right now because I think a lot of men are starting to realize a lot of this wasn't really a good deal. Like the men in the past, they really didn't get a great deal. And especially nowadays, a lot of men aren't going to get a great deal with these women that we have now. But it is just so hilarious to see women crash out in these comments just because a man is having standards. And it really shows you 
how if a man has a certain standard, it's always going to be demonized. But no matter what a female standard is, it's going to be supported. You can say that you want a man over six feet. He needs to be making six figures. He needs to have a six pack. He has to have all this stuff. And if you turn around and say the exact same thing as a man, if you be like, hey, my girl needs to make six figures, she needs to be able to fit a dress size four. Anything that you say is going to be demonized as a man. And it clearly shows you the double standard that is going on between the male and female relationship dynamic. And I know double standards exist. I'm not sitting here saying that no double standards should exist. But it's just hilarious to see these women crash out in these comments because men are starting to figure out their worth. And they're like, you know what? Why am I going to aspire to be this great man just to get a chick with some used box and a messed up attitude with a whole bunch of trauma from my past boyfriends? It's not really a good deal for me, so I'm going to cut out. But I just want to say this whole drizzle drizzle movement is hilarious. And I love seeing it play out in real time. Ladies. It's not serious. Like, y'all don't have to go crash out in the comments. We're just making fun of y'all, and that's okay. Men are coming together and starting to realize this whole thing has been a finesse. You want to know how you know it's a finesse? If we were to swap roles, like I saw a video this guy posted when he was basically saying, hey, don't date a girl who makes less money than you. Date a girl who makes more money than you. That way, when she divorces you, she has to pay you. It's like what women ask men to sign up for when it comes to marriage they would never sign up for it themselves. Why do you think these women making all this money generally are not marrying dudes who make less money than them? Why do you think they're always asking for men who make more money than them? And even if they do marry a man who makes less money than them, you they're definitely going to get a prenup, like 1,000%. But, but they're going to feel disrespected if you make more money than them and ask them for a prenup. They're going to feel so disrespected. Another example was just housework. Like, you know how women like to get on here and be like, well, I do all this housework and blah, blah, blah. And then if you were to switch the roles and be like, all right, well, how about you fund a man's life? You work 100 percent and let him do the housework and pay the bills. They're going to find some excuse of why they don't want to do that, because they know us a whole finesse. They've been gaslighting us the whole time. It seems you guys are becoming aware of modern women nowadays. Because they now know that each time modern women are going on a date with men, they always feel like it's a foodie call. They feel like take her out, barely order anything, as if you are doing a meetup at your place after. If she even hesitates, go to the bathroom, don't pay anything. I couldn't help it but laugh so hard. Modern women these days want, always want dinner dates, but they don't want to pay for it. And then they feel entitled to it. It's their entitlement mentality for me. I'm so glad modern men came back to the drizzle drizzle thing because for a while now, women try to make men forget about the bear versus man bullshit tells. Which is for a while, a lot of men failed. Everyone forgot about drizzle drizzle and we're talking only about the betting which they knew it was so so stupid to me in my opinion is to us so so stupid like ladies if you want food pay for it you are an adult yeah if you want dinner date pay for it dinner date leaves men being used for their resources since she loves or since women loves dinner date finance it after all you are strong and independent woman i'm so glad men are waking up to this i'm so glad the internet is such a great thing let women talk and they eventually reveal themselves stay strong guys the fact that they are confused show men how delicious they are and yeah men have been saying it for a while now they don't want to be used they don't want muscular women. Ride high while you can. Because all this beauty you claim you have, you are beautiful, that and all that. Beauty fades, in case you don't know. After all, men and women are the same. Women claim equality. Men and women are the same and can do the same thing. No need to go back to the oppressive patriarchy value that only benefits uh, women no more free stuff no more paying your bills no more free food no more fixing your car for free no more free things ladies like guys this is 2024 if you let yourself get financed by women due to maybe you are naive about it 
you're on your own that is on you because these women will be like i need dinner i need food and then you ask them what do you bring they say i put on makeup that i bought weeks ago and i'm going to pretend that i didn't explicitly for you when i do it every day same with clothes i bought months or years ago and wear for others already like the average guy this 2024 if you're an average guy in this 2024 you must be ready to wear your masculinity as a badge of honor be ready man to be strong and disciplined enough to stand on your principle and always know that you win regardless either with her or without her you will be seen as a winner yeah guys i hope you enjoy watching this video and if you do please go ahead and give it a thumbs up yeah go ahead and smash on that like button and don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section as your opinion is always highly welcome in the comment section you guys know how we do it on this channel please go down the comment section and drop your thoughts and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and in case you are just seeing my face or this channel for the first time this is what i do on my channel naturally gloria feel free to join this beautiful green family by clicking on that subscribe button Button. and don't forget to turn on the bell notification in that way you get notified when i do drop beautiful videos like this again and one more thing guys there's always exclusive content for members only so go ahead and click on the link in the description box to join my membership until i come your way again on my next upload for now bye guys